All right, welcome. In this video, I just want to show how I can take this image that I've drawn on the canvas and show us how we can reflect it or flip it horizontally. I want to turn Mario around so that he's facing to the left. All right, to help us see how uh, flipping Mario is going to be a little bit trickier than we might expect, um, I'm going to draw this little green box around Mario because this is where I want Mario to be just turned around, flipped around backwards. Now, the way we're going to flip around Mario is we're going to use a function called scale. Now the way scale works is it's going to take two arguments here, x and y, and it's going to tell us how we're going to scale anything or everything that we're going to draw on the context from this point forward. So again, the first one is x and the second one is y. For the moment, I'm going to do uh, 2, 1 just to see what happens. That's going to scale everything in our x twice as big as our y. All right, the first time I did this, I actually got an error because I forgot to restore my canvas back to its original state. Um, and this is something that, again, is part of the confusion that can, can arise when trying to do transformations on the canvas because we need to remember that the transformation transforms the whole canvas. It doesn't just transform the image or the shape that we're trying to draw. So in this case, when I did scale of 2, 1, that's going to stretch the canvas out to the right twice as long in the x coordinate or in the x axis than it is in the y axis. And then I chose to draw the image here. Uh, I drew, drew the uh, Mario uh, on that stretched canvas. And then I went and restored it and unstretched the canvas. And what that left me with is with a stretched Mario. Okay, so this is something that we can do. Now this allows us to stretch and skew things, but that wasn't our goal. What makes this interesting is when we switch the scale from positive to negative. And what that's going to do is flip us. Now let's see what happens in that case. In this case, it looks like we've got an error as well. Where did Mario go? And the unfortunate thing is Mario has disappeared. Mario has been painted. Mario does exist, but Mario has been painted off the canvas, somewhere off the canvas. And well, let, let's maybe do a quick experiment here. So I'm going to draw Mario in uh, minus 16, minus 16. Let's see what happens. We can see that we can draw Mario outside the canvas. This allows us to get a little bit of clipping, so Mario sort of appears partly on the canvas because we started him off the canvas. So we're allowed to draw Mario off the canvas. And when we did that before, what ended up happening is we drew Mario completely off the canvas, um, and that resulted in us not seeing Mario at all. Now, why was Mario completely off the canvas? Well, remember what we've done now when we've scaled the canvas is we've shifted it so that now the canvas goes out to the left instead of the right. So this location, this point in the space, this 100, 100 where we wanted to draw was not actually where we were. So let's try this instead. Let's try minus 100. All right, now this is getting a little bit better, a little bit closer, because now we've got Mario where we want Mario to be. So what's actually happening here is we've flipped the canvas over to the left as though we've done a flip over this axis here, okay? And when we flipped it over to the left, we chose to draw at x coordinate minus 100, which is now off of the canvas. But then, when we do the restore operation here, that restores our canvas back to its original way. It flips the canvas back over here, and it show, draws our Mario. But since our canvas was flipped over there on that other side, when we drew it at 100, 100, it drew it, or sorry, at minus 100, 100, it drew it to the right on that flipped canvas, so that when we flip it over here, it's now being drawn to the left on that flipped canvas. So even though we started the green rectangle at point 100, 100, and we started the drawing of Mario also at that point 100, 100 on the flipped canvas, because we're drawing one to the right and one to the left, we don't end up getting them overlapping. So what we actually need to do is offset that now and instead try and draw from this corner instead of this corner. And that's going to be at position minus
132, which is the width of Mario, but I need to be careful here because so it's actually 48 what I should do there instead. And boom, now we've got Mario right inside that square where we want him to be. Okay, so let's let's finish that off by going through the steps one last time. I'm going to set up a couple variables here. I'm going to say let x equal 100. That's where we want to draw our x location. So I'll stroke my I'll draw my rectangle at location x. And that means when we flipped it to minus 100 here, we got to minus x. Now, the other thing I'm going to add here, this is just to help you uh, generalize what we've got here. What was the width of my uh, Mario? The width of my Mario was w, uh, sorry, was 48, when we call that w. And we had to do a minus w here as well. Let's see if we got that all right. Okay, so Mario still where... Mario needs to be. So there are two transformations we need to do if we want to flip an image in this way. The first thing we need to do is we need to scale the image by flipping it to, well, minus one in the first case is, is the x coordinate. The second one is the y coordinate. So we could also do the y coordinate, flip it uh, vertically. Um, and then we need to draw strategically at a different location. And what we see here, since we flipped over the x, we, we end up having to draw it at minus x instead of plus x, and then also offset by the width of the image. So minus x minus w. And I bet you could guess what would happen if we did this vertically. We'd end up having to do this at minus y minus the height. Okay, flipping it again uh, over the vertical axis. What we've done in this case is before we did the flip, we drew the rectangle right where it belonged, x100 and, and with the width that we expected. Then we, f we scaled to the left, which made the, the canvas flip over to the left-hand side. We drew in that negative space where we needed to be offset by the width, so we were inside that green rectangle. And then we flipped it back with the restore operation, and that put us back here so we can see what we actually did. So as a result, we can now see the flipped Mario. All right, so that's how you're going to do a reflection in an HTML canvas. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.